Joe. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for tonight's main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Muhammad Ali's on his way to the ring. Boy, he looks confident. We've seen it many times with him through the years, but tonight, he's bubbling with confidence. George Foreman's so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread, but he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is 10 rounders. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. The combo lands upstairs. Muhammad Ali has faced the threat of power before. Obviously, he faced Joe Frazier, among others. But in George Foreman, he faces maybe even more power, but with size. Yeah, he does. Where he does things wrong, Ali, he makes mistakes, he gets away with it, he pulls back, covers up. There's a bigger price, potentially a bigger price to pay with Foreman because of that power. But look for the power of the mind of Ali. In his mind, that's where he's going to have the advantage. Targeting that head with the combination punching. with that headshot. A headshot blocked. Nice. And he engages in the clinch. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Looking jab there. Great work offensively landing that combination by Muhammad Ali. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Ali's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Jab, jab, right, okay? Be ready. You're in control of this. Just keep it up, right? Nice work. You need to move your head, though, okay? Side to side. Lean to the side, then boom! Counter punch, counter punch! Throw the body, then to the head. Then finish to the body. He looks anxious and ready to get underway here. Hey, if you can throw them all, you may just land them all, and he does with that four-punch combination. Ali's got a little something coming back at him, a counter-punch score. He just missed that shot up top. 
Ali's right hand scores well. Good looking uppercut that time. What an impact that left hand just made by Muhammad Ali. One, but gives one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Ali's jab is really becoming an effective tool here, especially with the Punch distance that he's Punch keeping him. away from his opponent. He's doing a great job of using that stick, making sure that that jab's in his face, but then stepping out and setting traps, getting his opponent to reach in a little bit and then filling the hole. Strike after catching one by Muhammad Ali. Ali's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. A well-placed left hand up top. Ali's punch didn't come close. Good two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. by George Foreman. And we come to the end of the round. Foreman's getting hit too much. I mean, it's as simple as that, Teddy. He, he comes back after that round, and he just got popped a lot. Yeah, well, right now, he's got to find a way to get away from some of those punches. But there's a problem, a big problem, like with anything else. How are you going to start changing it if you haven't been taught differently? I don't know that he knows the answer. OK, breathe in. Take a deep breath. Great job that round. Doing well. And round number three is underway. Ali's looks to be a fighter who's ready to go here. How about that? Another right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Muhammad Ali is doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. Really brought it that time. A four-punch combination. Ali's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Right to the belt line. Muhammad Ali is doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches in bunches. The combination lands. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. Ali's landed a good, solid combination. A hammering hook to the head by George Foreman. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Now committing to that jab straight hand and it works out. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by George Foreman. And this round comes to an end. That was good. Nice work. Beautiful. Beautiful. That head movement. And I want to see double jab, right? Listen, I want you to pick his jab. That's right. Pick his jab. When he throws the jab.
Ali's got this fight three to zip. That's easy to see. Ali's been the more active guy. If you throw more punches, you're going to earn the judge's respect. As long as the other guy is not landing the cleaner shots, even though he's not as active. But this is the kind of fight where he's just busier. He's doing more, and that's carrying the rounds. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Well, he knew it was a smart strategy to stay on the outside. He probably didn't know it was going to pay off this well because he's just getting to his guy easily. Oh, yeah, if he was in the casino, I'm telling you, it's all coming up cherries for him. But right now, if his opponent has any shot to hit that jackpot, he needs to move that head, move those feet, get inside. You can see him timing that double jab to the head. Solid hook. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Combination to the head. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Very accurate two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Committing upstairs now, he goes there again. Ali's ripped by an uppercut. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Not able to land the headshot. Good combination to the head. Wow, what a right hand. From That's a shocker to see. And bang, and away he goes. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's the best noise he could ever hear. The bell to end that round. He was getting battered there. George Foreman's lucky the bell rang when it did. But it's little consolation to him because guess what? There's still plenty of bells in there, not the church bells ringing in his head. Don't stand toe to toe with this guy. Yeah, keep your distance, all right? You won that round, all right? One. New round underway here. He's hoping that it doesn't look like the last stanza where he was knocked down. Well, this is a sport, a profession where hope is attached to something very tangible. You know, it's not just a notion. We hope. But it's attached to his jab. It's attached to his head movement. He has a good jab. He has good head movement. Guess what? He has hope he'll be okay the next round. Well placed, well timed combo up top. Ali's hand speed is the difference here. He has a big shot. And once again, he goes down. The question is can he rise up again? Foreman's back up, but is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Muhammad. Solid. Foreman's down. He is down, and I don't think he's going to beat the count. I don't know if he wants to. George Foreman wants to fight on, and here he comes. Ali's punch is far off the target. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the ice. Look at that! Foreman's down after that punch. 
This fight could soon be over. Oh. 